What's up everybody, welcome to Best Massage Tech, where today I'm taking a look at the Ekron 365 Massage Gun. So Ekron Athletics is a company that has a few different massage guns. I have reviewed all of them on this channel previously, so I'm excited to take a look at their newest addition to the massage gun line today, the Ekron 365. This device is designed for more of an everyday user, more of a universal demographic than some of their other devices. And what I mean by that is it doesn't necessarily have the same features, all the different attachments, not as much power as the Ekron B37S or the Ekron B37. So this device is actually going to fall at sort of the bottom of the hierarchy of their devices but I am excited to take a look at it because it does come in at a much friendlier price point so I'm interested to see how it stacks up on some of the features and capabilities of their previous devices so in this video today I'll start by taking a look at what comes with the device out of the box and then I'll talk about some of the features and specifications and actually go ahead and use the device towards the end of the video so out of the box everything that comes with the device does fit inside this carrying case you see you've got the Ekron 365 branding on it in the corner. It does have a carry handle with a rubber grip and you've got two plastic zippers on it. These zippers move real easily. Now this case itself is actually pretty rigid. I've seen a lot of different cases like this and most of them have a, quite a bit of give to it, but this one's pretty sturdy. I can squeeze this pretty hard and it's not giving. So pretty impressed with that case there. It's a nice improvement on some of the previous versions. The first thing that you see when you open it then is a few different pieces of paperwork. The first is just a card thanking you for purchasing and reminding you to register it for your warranty. Then you do have a color instruction guide so in the back half of this, it's basically a user manual. So if you've never used a massage gun before, it tells you uh, how long to be using it in each different body part. So if it is your first time using it, that's definitely gonna be a benefit to you. And then the last thing is just two other additional cards. One describes the four different attachments and the speeds of the device. And then you've got a card that describes a unique feature of this is just kind of a touch screen panel on the top of it. And then some information on how to charge it with the USB-C cord. Everything else that comes with it then is inside this case. So you've got the charging cord at the top, you've got the device itself. They've got this unique little ribbon that a lot of their other devices had to make it easy to get out. And then you do have four different attachment heads. So I'll go ahead and talk about those attachment heads here now quickly. So you do have a hard plastic flat head attachment. You have a softer round ball attachment. This has got uh, quite a bit of give to it. It's just a kind of a big air pocket so you can hear the air coming out here. Then you have a larger sort of hybrid fork ball attachment. So this is all hard plastic except for the tip. The tip has a slight amount of give, it's a rubberized tip. And then you have a hard plastic fork head attachment. Now all of these attachments do have the same unique locking feature that was introduced on the B37S. So comparatively to other massage guns where you might just have to stick the attachment head in, these ones you actually have to insert and then twist and then it locks them in place, which is actually really beneficial for something like a fork head attachment because you don't have to worry about this spinning on you, especially if you're using it somewhere on your neck or your Achilles where it's kind of a little bit dangerous to be using in those areas to begin with, but you don't have to worry about it twisting on you at all because it is gonna be locked into place. So all the attachments have that, so you can't pull this out, it's gonna stay locked in, which is a great little feature that they added on that B37S. And then with the device itself, there's actually three features that are uniquely different from its predecessors. So Ekron's made these changes, I think they're all great additions. The first is that the handle is 10% longer, which I think is awesome. There's a lot of spots that are already difficult to reach, so just getting a little bit more length in the handle just makes those spots just a little bit easier. The next is that the handle is actually thinner, so I think that's a great addition as well because it just makes it a little bit more universally friendly for any hand size, especially when you're trying to appeal to a larger demographic that maybe isn't an elite level athlete. It might be somebody with smaller hands, so great change there. And then the last one is that the top is actually a touch screen and that's how you change the speed. So I'll show that in a second after I turn the device on. Before you use the device for the first time, they do recommend that you fully charge it. It is gonna depend on how charged it is when you get it. So they say it needs to be charged anywhere from four to 12 hours. So I just went ahead and charged mine overnight, but depending on how much battery it has, you might be able to charge it less and get to that full capacity. But in order to turn the device on, there's just a little switch on the bottom. You just slide it on off there. You'll know it's on because the top does light up. 
you have sort of a, a pulsing blue on the top, which is cool, that's unique. So this whole pulsing part is actually a force sensor as well. So once you actually turn the device on, half of it lights up bright, the other half's a little bit more dull. As you add pressure, the whole thing will light up. Then in order to transition to the different speeds here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just put the flat head attachment in just so it's easy to see everything here. In order to turn it on, it is a four speed device. You just touch it just like you would a smartphone and it comes on real easily. So again, this is a four speed device. The first speed here is gonna be 2000 percussions per minute. Just touch it again here. You got the next speed. So this is 2400 percussions per minute. Third speed is 2800 percussions per minute. And then the top speed is 3200 percussions per minute. If you wanna turn it off at any point, you just press and hold it for a, a long hold and it'll turn off. You can do that at any speed. On the top of the device is where the battery life is indicated. So you see mine's fully charged there. That's how you know four lights means fully charged. Each light is roughly 25%. So that's where you can check how much charge you have. It also will indicate the speeds on the top of the device. So if I touch it here, you'll see that light come on. So if it's fully charged and at full speed, you'll have eight different lights at the top. Now the stall force on this is a variable stall force, so it's actually going to vary depending on which speed setting you're on. So I'll go ahead and just show the stall force here on the lowest speed. So at the lowest speed, it's going to be 28 pounds of stall force. It does come back on right away here, you see. I'll go all the way up to the top speed, which they say is 40 pounds of stall force. It takes a little bit more force to stop it there. Now the stroke length on this is 12 millimeters, so that's the distance that this massage head is moving back and forth. For me personally, I think that feels a little bit more vibrational. Uh, I'm typically someone that likes a little bit longer stroke length to get that real good punch into my muscles, but for most people, 12 millimeters is going to be a pretty good uh, number. You know, you're not going to really notice a huge difference, but for me, I've tried so many different massage guns that I really do think that the longer stroke length does make a pretty big difference. So if you're somebody that's looking for that real powerful punch, uh, this might not necessarily be able to do it for you, but it still does feel really good. And you see, when it comes to that stall force, most people, you're probably not gonna be able to stall it just through normal use. You should just be kind of floating over your muscles. You know, you can kind of hear it if I go over my chest, you can hear it, you know, vibrating through my diaphragm and everything there. So definitely feels powerful. I like that it doesn't turn off when you stall it. It comes right back on. A lot of devices when they stall you actually have to restart the whole device so good feature there so this device doesn't have bluetooth or an app or anything like that it's not adjustable so it is fixed at this angle you've got a little bit of a, like a 15 degree lean on the handle which is the same as all the other ekron uh, predecessor devices the battery on this is not removable and i've read a few different things about their battery life so the website advertises it as five hours the instruction booklet says two to four hours I'm gonna say that two to four hours is probably a little bit more accurate. And the reason for that variance is gonna depend on what speed you're using it on and how much force you're using it, how long you're using it consecutively. I'd say on average, you're probably gonna see closer to the four hour range, uh, which is still a pretty good length of time. Uh, in order to fully charge it, I did mention that at the beginning, you do need to insert the USB-C charger in it. So it does only come with a USB-C charger. You've got USB uh, on one end and then USB-C on the other end. You can charge it uh, with a cell phone block, right in a computer or any USB port, uh, and it'll charge up in that four to 12 hour for that initial charge. The cord itself here, the one thing that I really like about this is that it's a long cord. A lot of massage guns that I've got recently give me like a little six inch cord, which really is not very convenient. This is just shy of four feet. It's about three feet, 10 inches. So good amount of length here. Uh, so props to Eckert on that. The noise on this is really quiet. I'm sure you heard it earlier there, but I'll just go ahead and turn it on again. Obviously I'm talking over it. It's not gonna distract anybody. I measured this on the low end to be 55 decibels and on the high end to be 65 decibels, which is right on par with some of the quietest massage guns that I've tried. This is it on its highest speed. So you're not gonna really distract anybody. I've used devices like this on an airplane and the airplane noise just actually drowns it out. You can't even really hear it. So I don't think you need to worry about uh, you know disturbing anybody with something like this. You can watch TV over it. The weight of this is a little bit lighter as well as predecessors. It's 1.7 pounds. So real easily uh, to you know maneuver with one hand. Most of your weight is in the top part. We've got the motor and a little bit of the battery, but it's you know it's not something that's gonna tip over real easily in your hand given the, the little bit longer handle. It does come with the case, as I said. 
It does come with a lifetime warranty, so if you have anything that goes wrong with this, go ahead and reach out to Echo and they'll take care of you, but make sure that you register it when you buy it, otherwise they might not honor that. The price on this is $180. I will drop a discount code in the description that'll help you get a little bit cheaper price on that. The touch sensor on the top, they do just call that touch sense technology. This is probably the coolest thing on it because I've not seen any other device like it that's able to adjust that quickly. The stall force meter on it, I'll just show that. So again, you've got that pulsing. I'll just try to show. It's kind of hard to tell. So you can see the back half of it here is lit right now. If I push harder on it, the whole device lights up. So. Not really a feature that I would find myself using very much. I think it's probably designed a little bit more for a professional setting if you are gonna be just keeping track of the treatment and say, you know, hey, last time we went two lights, this time we're gonna go one light, ease it up. In terms of things that I really like about it, I like the handle on it. I just think that that smaller grip is great. I love the touch screen. I think we're gonna start to see more massage guns that are kind of in this shape using that. I don't know if Ekron has a patent on that or not, but just that's super quick to change speeds, like almost too easy to change speeds, but the location of it, I don't think anyone's gonna be able to accidentally bump it. It would be great if that was like on the back here where my thumb is, but really cool technology there. I think honestly the force meter on it is pretty useless. Obviously for the price point, you do lose some of the features that the other devices had. So the higher up devices, so the B37, B37S, they've got higher stall force, you get a couple extra attachments. But overall for the price point, this is probably one of the best devices I've seen for this price point. So I'm really, really impressed with Ekron and what they did with this one. I've always been a fan of their devices. So I guess that's kind of everything I can think of that I would normally cover with one of these. If you guys have any other additional questions, go ahead and drop in the comments down below. Uh, as always, I do appreciate the thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed this review. I appreciate those that consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me get new products to review all the time. Otherwise, that is the Ekron 365. That's a review. Enjoy your recovery. <laughs>